Hello, we're looking at TTG High Slide Gallery Pro. In the previous video, we went over the menu settings and discussed how you can use these options to customize the appearance of your menu bar and your site navigation menu. Now in this video, we're going to move on down to the menu items themselves and discuss briefly how to set up your hyperlinks. Now by default, TTG High Slide Gallery's menu is set up with a home page link, a gallery index link, an about link, and a contact link. Now the URLs for these items are specified over here and they're set up to coincide with pages created using TTG pages. So if you flip over to the web, uh, this is a published website that was created using TTG pages and as you can see there's a home page, a gallery index, an about page, and a contact page. So if you're using TTG Pages and TTG High Slide Gallery Pro, you don't need to touch the menus because by default they're already set up and ready to go. Uh, you just need to follow the installation instructions on the website and don't worry about the hyperlinks in your menu. That said, uh, there are users who will want to add additional menu items or who may want to change these menu items because they're not using TTG Pages. So the way you would go about doing that, uh, for each menu item, there's a checkbox. You can turn that menu item on or off. So if I didn't want this first link here, I would just turn off the checkbox and it goes away. Uh, if I want to bring it back, I turn it back on. Maybe I don't want my first link to be called home. Maybe I want it to be called front. So I just change the text, and as you can see, changes on the page. But the destination has not changed. It's still going to the same place. So in addition to the text that you see, there, each menu item also has another input field where you're going to put the URL. Um, now, the URL can be either a relative URL or an absolute URL. And if you don't know what those terms mean, you can Google absolute URL or relative URL and find plenty of information about those types of URLs on the web. Um, by default it's set up to use relative URLs but for beginners uh, it's easiest to use absolute URLs. These are the types of URLs you're going to be typing in when you visit web pages. So if I want my first link to go to the front page of my website I would put in my domain name and I would want to include the HTTP portion. So, HTTP colon slash slash www.theturninggate.net and that would cause this first link to point to the front of my website. Now, if I wanted to do the same thing for, let's say, the About page here, um, we'll call this About the Turning Gate. And as you can see, it's changed the, uh, the text for the link. And then to change the URL, http colon slash slash www.theturninggate.net slash about.html. That's an absolute URL. It's the complete address for that page. Uh, so you would set these up. You know, the first five menu items get set up the exact same way. You've got uh, the link text and then the link target, the hyperlink target, which is going to be your absolute URL. If you need additional menu items, uh, there's a couple here that are not turned on by default, so you can enable menu item number three or menu item number four and uh, build out your menus any way you see fit. Moving down the list, we come to custom menu items. Now, by default, you get five menu items, and then you have the contact link. Uh, but if you need additional menu items, you can use this custom menu items field to enter HTML for hyperlinks. So again, if you don't know how to code a hyperlink using HTML, you're going to have to go onto uh, the internet and Google that. It's pretty easy to do, though. And all you would need to do here is just start typing in the code. So a href. I'm going to type in a URL, turninggate.net slash page1.html. Uh, give it some text, close the hyperlink, 
maybe I want to do a second one, so I would just write in another hyperlink without breaking the lines. And uh, you can extend this menu as much as you like. It's, it's infinite. Um, so whether you want that to add one additional menu item, two items, or ten items, uh, your only limit is the width of the browser window. So you can see I just added these two custom links um, using that custom menu items field. Now the last one we've got is this contact link. Uh, you cannot turn this one off and on because every web page should have a way of contacting the photographer. Um, it doesn't have to be a contact link. If you want to make this a link to your gallery index instead, you can retitle it and you can put in an, an address for your gallery index. Uh, it's really up to you what you want this to be, but it's intended to be a contact link. Um, so you might want to change, you can, it can say contact, it can say email. Uh, by default, it goes to a contact page. If you would rather that your contact link uh, launch directly into writing an email, you can code this for your email address instead of a contact page. And to do that, you're going to use the address mail to as one word. So that's M-A-I-L-T-O colon. And then you would put in your email address. So email at theturninggate.net. Um, and there's no spaces in that. Once again, that's mail to colon and your email address without spaces. And that's basically all there is to setting up your menu. Uh, just turn on the items you want, turn off the items you don't, and author some URLs. And again, if you need help figuring out how to write absolute or relative URLs, uh, go to Google, and there should be plenty of resources at your fingertips. Good luck.